I'm putting my ruler on the paper. This is a landscape style. It's almost 11 inches. So half is going to be five and half over here. These are my guidelines, so I will draw very light. Eight centimeter. So this is eight over here and just I'm going to mark somewhere eight over here I will connect now I'm going to mark from here to 14 centimeter so this is 14 over here 14 over here I will connect both of them with very light line this is 8 so middle is going to be 4 same thing I am going to do at the bottom 4 so this is going to be the middle line for the head now from here I will make sure 5 centimeters so I have to divide this one so it's going to be 2.5 into so 1 2.5 so it's over here and from here it's 1 2 and 5 so if I will go for this so this is 0 and this is 5 now I'm going to connect this point to this point Now from the bottom three and a half so this is three and a half I will mark over here so this is going to be the chin from top four and a half it's going to be the ear so from here you simply have to drag it from here and kind of like a half circle From here, we are going to measure again from here, 2 cm. After this, the nose will start. From here, 2 and a half. This is going to be nose and then mouth will be here. Now I am going to connect all of them with very light line. For this one we have to draw a slight smiley face and this will go over here so normally you can connect this way or if you really want to you can do one and a half measuring and you can mark it over here one and half over here you can mark it over here from this line I measure now I'm going to measure from this line one and a half this much from here one and a half this much over here so for the mask this is the point if you'll say a b c d so i'm at b remember this is the chin line so if you are getting confused you can erase this line a little bit So this is the mask line and the nose will be just parallel to this one and because it's a woman so you have to make it sharp now from here you can measure one and a half so you can put a little bit one this side 0.75 you can just a little bit think about it and then just mark it over here when you are making the eye you have to leave this much space and I'm going to do the same thing I did over here if I have to connect this one over here and this one over here just parallel to almost parallel to this one the eye will go 
in means this side this side will go this side then this will be flat over here straight kind of straight and then this will go long up how big the eyes are this is almost one and a half too yes this is one and a half or a little bit longer just adjust a little bit and make it soft and curvy these lines also you have to curve them so if we we'll measure almost like from here to one centimeter over here so we have to put the mouth over here so what we have to draw we know this is going to be the top lip and the bottom lip over here in the middle you have to just draw a line a straight line and leave little bit of space after this line and make another line I will start from here you can see the white space can you see this this is less and this is little bit more and this angle is coming here not at the middle the bottom one is start from here little bit in now we have to make it thick over here the lower lip you have to make this part a little bit thicker and this part a little bit thicker but not over here this line do not make a smiley it's a straight or little bit down you can do the bottom one has more space than the top one it means white I am comparing the white so I am fixing I am making this space the notch over here and this one is a little bit more so this was my guideline so I know now we have to put it the notch over here and then the slip go this side and this one is a little bit thick if you are going to color do not color with the pencil is almost like a 0.5 you can see this chin area and 0.5 if I will take from here so this is kind of like this much make sure you are if you are using ruler it will be straight for both side like that but because we are doing the woman we don't want anything straight so same thing same line but you have to make it soft and little bit curvy not very straight from here it will go just straight all the way next to the eye same thing you have to do over here because we we are going to draw hair and all these so i'm not worried about this one now from here i will draw her mask so this is the mask line so same thing i'm going to do over here this is her mask if you want to pull a little bit chin you can always go and make it a little bit low these are the drawings you always have to adjust according to your drawing so even though I'm giving you measurement, you will draw something different from this one. So you always have to see 
how it is and you have to adjust according to that and now this is going to be shadow part and it's going around the eye here I have to draw one line and just same thing you can do this side too these things you always have to go and fix it now I'm going to draw shadow from here right this is the chin line I will go here and this is going to be cape from here the other cape will be like a ship for logo I'm going to draw one U two ears then U U one two as we did last time so it will start from here and I have to do three arches the first one is going to be the biggest one if you are going outside of this line that's fine so first one is a small then medium and then biggest one so small little bit bigger than this means these these are similar this one and this one has to be similar and this one has to be biggest one so like that and after that when I'm done I'm going to adjust everything start from here you or you can say all the way it's kind of like a candy cane then again so it's kind of like a S shape now I'm going to draw one more time with one flow so S shape one more and this will connect over here this one we need a little bit more curvy to show more style one then two and this one is coming all the way over here and curving this way So I'm trying to follow the same thing and whatever comes I will erase everything from here. So this is the middle line so this is showing the guideline. Now I'm going to draw a very wiggly line for the hairline like this and I will erase the guideline. If you want to erase all guidelines from here you can do it. From here because the hair goes like this way and this way. So from here I'm going to draw half circle style over here and from here the other side the, and this one is like a flower one two three four not so many just you have to draw few of them and this is the area we have to highlight means light is hitting over here same thing we have to do but this area over here it's highlighted This is the line this is the line for the mask I will take this one a little bit high from here and I will draw arch 
this is over here it's a little bit high the way I did over here same thing I will do one arch over here now from here the way we did in the first drawing I'm going to draw some strokes to highlight the cape just like a wave and maybe on the cape some lines to show the flow now I can see this bump doesn't look very nice to me it has to be a little bit more flat so I will go and fix this one this is the time I will go and fix all these things whatever I do not like and I have to make sure everything looks same way so this one went outside so this has to be go outside we said this is mask and this line is coming so this one is going to touch over here just like this way This area is going to be black and this is gray so we have to differentiate so I did zigzag over here so I'm going to use marker today you can use pencil color or whatever color you want to like you if you want to paint acrylic paint you can do it I did two of them this one is the face is really a little skinny and this is little wider so it's up to you if you want skinny you can just curve this one little bit inside so I'm going to color this one. This is skinny area so I'm using pen. this part black over here and I made a little bit line over here to see if it will look nice I will keep it otherwise I will going to make it black so now I'm going to use pencil because I need a little bit darker shade over here You can use your mechanical pencil, that's also fine.
this is the way I made highlight over here same thing I will do wherever I left the highlight part I will just not color over there I'm going to use gray color to color this but this is really dark I'm going to use different now I'm going to test this one yeah I like a little bit lighter shade even though this is a little bit bluish but I'm fine Thicker line over here, one maybe one more over here. Some small ones, big ones. So this is the area I'm not going to color. Suppose you color something by mistake, you can use the acrylic paint and you can color again. I'm trying to highlight this area so I'm just trying very light. I'm going to erase this part and then I will color it. Few of them so you can just create it by yourself and then do not color those ones. Small small you can do here, maybe over here and maybe
same time and I will draw one line in the middle over here, here and here and I will make it a little bit thicker and sharp over here. this one more skinny this is the way I really like it if you want the whole thing black and white like first Batman video you can do that way too 